Hi guys, this is Sabina, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video I have created this look right here. It's a very bold red lip um, with some winged eyeliner. There isn't much going on on the eye because obviously the main focus is the red lip. So I really hope you enjoy this video and yeah, just keep watching. So to start this makeup, I'm just going to start off by moisturising my face. And I'm just using um, some cocoa butter. You can use anything you usually moisturize your face with. So I'm just evenly gonna spread that all over my face. And to moisturize my lips, I'm going to be using some of this coconut lip balm because I know I want to use a liquid lipstick in this video, so I don't want my lips to dry. So I'm just going to apply that on my top and bottom lip. To prime my face, I'm just going to be using my Revolution Priming Water and I'm just going to spray that all over my face. So while that is drying, I'm going to go ahead and move on to my eyebrows. And for my eyebrows, I'm going to be using my Revolution Brow Pomade. It's my favourite, so I'm probably going to use it in most of my videos. And I'm just going to use that with an angled brush. I am planning on filming an eyebrow tutorial so I'm not really going to get into a lot of detail on how I do my brows because it's kind of hard to explain and I feel like it's just going to take a while so I want to film a separate video on that and yeah I think it's probably going to be either my next video or the one after But every time I do my eyebrows, I pretty much use exactly the same stuff. For foundation today, I'm going to be using my Maybelline Fit Me foundation. And I'm going to mix that with my number 7 Beautiful Matte foundation. They are very different, but it works. But I'm going to use more of this one and just add a little bit of the other one. So I'm just going to mix them together at the back of my hand and just with a small brush I'm going to apply that all over my face and then I'm going to blend it all in with my Dumb Beauty Blender and as I said I'm just going to blend that all into my skin with a damp beauty blender. only thing I really really don't like about the number seven foundation is the smell but it's not like it's really bad I'm just seriously not a fan of it but the product itself is really good The 
I just gonna blend it down my neck a little bit so we don't have any harsh lines. Once all of that is blended in, I'm gonna go into my collection Last Imperfection Concealer in the lighter shade and I'm just gonna highlight under my eyes, down the bridge of my nose, my chin, a little bit of my cupid's bow and the middle of my forehead. And once again, I'm just going to blend that in with my damp beauty blender. And once that is done, I'm just going to set it with some translucent powder. And I think I'm going to bake today. Because I'm not going to do much on the eyes. I want the main focus to be the skin. Obviously winged eyeliner. And the red lip. Whilst that is setting, I think I'm going to move on to the eyes. So first of all, I'm going to just set them with some setting powder. And I'm just doing that with a blending brush. So I can access the way. And just making sure that they're nice and matte. And as I said, I'm not going to do anything to the eyes, so I'm just going to do winged eyeliner. So I'm not going to do any eyeshadow. For my winged eyeliner, I'm going to be using the same one I've used in my last video, which is a Dazzle liquid liner. I'll try to find it and leave the link down below, along with all the products I've used. But last time I was looking, I couldn't find it, so I'll see if I can find it this time. So I'm just starting off on my lash line, creating a line and never go ahead too thick because you can always make it thicker but you can't make it thinner. So just make sure you have a nice thin line and once it's done you can always make sure this thicker if you want it to be thicker. And then once I get to the end, I'm going to flick it out from the bottom of my, from the end of my bottom lash line going towards my brow. Just like that, making a really, really thin line so I just can see in what direction I'm going. And then I'm going to connect it from the top line going down to the lash line. Just like that. And then I'm going to fill in the inside the liner and then, it's really difficult to explain. And then just make sure that the line is going the way I want it to go.
and that is the liner. So I'm gonna go ahead and thicken it a bit because I want it a little bit thicker, not too much, just a bit. And then I'm gonna do my second eye. And that is the first eye done. And now that both eyes are done, I went ahead and done my second eye off camera because I basically just repeated exactly the same thing. I'm just gonna wipe away all the baking powder. To set the rest of my face, I'm going to be using this Max Factor Breast Powder and I'm just going to use it on a big fluffy brush and I'm just going to set the rest of my face that I haven't baked and once again, I'm going to use all the products that I've used in this video in the description bar below. Now I'm going to go ahead with this Pink Miss Sporting Mascara and I'm just going to top my coat my top lashes and I'll use a different mascara for my bottom ones so that's mascara done now I'm gonna apply some eyelashes and the ones that I'm going to be using today are twinning is winning eyelashes, which look like these. I bought them from Savers. I think it was Savers. It was a really good deal. These lashes are really, really good. Like, I bought them a few times now. And there was something like three pounds, I think, for two pairs. So that's really, really good. So I'm just going to be using these. And the way I apply my lashes is I put the mirror like this, so I'm literally looking at it down, and then I stick them on. I find this the easiest way to put them on as close to the lash line as possible. And then obviously you look at them and you fix however you want them to fix. And now I'm going to do exactly the same thing. Now that my eyelashes are on, I'm going to move back onto the face. And I'm going to do some contouring, highlighting, a bit of blush. And yeah. To contour my face, I'm going to be using my Revolution Contouring Powder. I use this every single day. Like, the name rubbed off. And I'm just going to use, as you can see the middle shade which is my favorite i seriously need to get another one but this palette is so so good i genuinely use this every single day 
and I'm just gonna contour my cheekbones. On both sides, of course. And I think with this, you seriously don't need a lot of product. Like, it's so easy to get too much on. So easy. Been there, done that. But it's really good. Like, I had this for definitely over a year. And as you can see, it's still going. So I'm going to stop right there because I'm getting a bit excited. I'm going to blush. Blush. I'm going to be using Revlon once again. What a surprise. But Revlon is one of my favorite makeup brands. I think they just do such a good products. Not all of them, obviously, because not every every brand does that but it's one of my favorites so i'm going to be using this blush palette yeah it has um eight blushes and i'm gonna go ahead with this one right here on my real techniques multitasking brush i'm not gonna apply too much just a little bit on the apple of my cheeks And now for highlighter, I'm going to go in back into the same palette that I was just using for contouring. With this colour right here. I hit the pan. Surprise, surprise. It's a really, really pretty highlighter. I don't know how well it's going to show up on the camera. Yes, it does it absolutely no justice, but it is so beautiful. Yes. No, it's not too much highlight. And a bit on my bright bone. Glowing. Before I move on to the lips, I want to finish my eyebrows. So I'm going to be using this clear mascara on my eyebrows just to set them in place. And to finish off the eyes, I'm going to go in with this Maybelline Great Lash Mascara. It has a really, really small wand, so I find it perfect to do my bottom lashes. Just like that, get a wet makeup wipe and wipe any foundation of my lips. And for the lipstick, I'm going to be using this Velvet Lip by MUA. And here, I'm just going to apply that all over my lips.
I'm just gonna get this tiny little brush from Real Techniques. This is an accent brush and a little bit of the same concealer that I've used under my eyes. And I'm just gonna clean up on the sides. To make it look very sharp. And you can also do exactly the same thing with your winged eyeliner if you've got anything that you just want to, you know, wipe off or make it a bit sharper, you can also do that with the concealer. Here's the finished look. Thank you guys so much for watching if you did enjoy this video please give it a big thumbs up subscribe to my channel down below and i'll leave all the products that i've used in this video in the description bar and yeah hopefully i'll see you in my next video